Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. And I got a rant for you today, but thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Um, we can't be here without you. We appreciate you. We thank you. Please be sure to pound that like button, subscribe, share this video, and comment. Those comments are huge to the pushing out of these videos. So we greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let's jump on in. You see the topic on the on the bottom of the screen. Game five is tonight between the Minnesota Lynx and the Connecticut Sun. It's tonight, and there are still plenty of tickets available, and not just resale tickets. Face value tickets are available, and they will continue to be available. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Right now, right now, if you look at the Minnesota Lynx site for ticket sales, which is Access Tickets, I will share the screen with you. You can see right here, I am not making this up. I don't like the people that think I'm making anything up. Actually, let's do it that way. Uh, da, 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 da. As you can see here, $75 seats you in section 106. That's a resale ticket. But look below here, standard 109. Section 109, standard ticket. This is a face value ticket. And there are standard, standard, standard. You have standard tickets up and down this site. There are tickets available, plenty of tickets available that are face value seats still within this building. Now, you want to compare the standard at 109 and section 109. Someone's trying to sell it on resale for 120 if you go to Vivid Seats right now. If, and if, I'm sorry, that's a StubHub. If you go to Vivid Seats, someone's trying to sell for 126. These tickets will creep on down because right now you have resale stuff. I mean, right now, Vivid for $55. You have stuff available on, I'm sorry, Vivid for $61. You have stuff on StubHub for $55. This is game five of the WNBA semifinals, folks. Game five. And these folks cannot. Let's show you another screen here. Let's show you this one. They're going to keep telling you what a great thing this is. There you go. That's Vivid Seats, $61.99. Hey, it's more than $10 at least, I will say. But think about what a game five of a five-game series in the, in the NBA would be selling for, or a game seven for that matter. I know people when the Miami Heat played the Boston Celtics who paid over $3,000 a ticket in game seven in Miami a couple years back. Over 3,000 a ticket. And of course, as you see, this is all lower level stuff. It's all lower level. They cannot set, they can't open up, they can't open the upper deck of this place. It's absolutely insane that they cannot open the upper deck. It makes no kind of sense. You can't open the upper deck. It's nuts. $55. I promise you that's less than the face value seat. That is less than their face value seat. There's no way that, that, that you're paying more. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But if you look at these seats, 81, 72, 73, I mean, this is it's more expensive than it was in Connecticut. But at the end of the day, you're still looking at a situation in which they have available seats faced by this arena is not sold out. They only have the lower bowl open. And it's game five of the WNBA semifinals with a chance to play for the championship against New the New York Liberty. We'll see what the ratings are. As you saw that the Lynx and the Sun did 885,000 on Sunday. They're not going to break a million tonight. It's Tuesday night. You have Major League Baseball playoffs going on. You have other things that are happening. Let's see what's for. Oh, look at here. 
The New York Jets fired Robert Sala after a two and three start. They'll blame him for Aaron Rodgers sucking. But let's jump back into what we're talking about. Um, you have Major League Baseball playoffs tonight. You have the Phillies and the Mets and the Dodgers and the Padres. Is there anything else popping off tonight? There's is there football for college football? This is the best day of the week, actually, for the WNBA. It really is. The NBA does have some preseason stuff going on. The, the Heat in Charlotte. You have some NBA, t- Indiana versus Atlanta on NBA TV. End of the day, you have another story where you have low, you have a, a low price of entry to go watch a WNBA semifinals game. Look, I'll tell you this. If I lived in Minnesota, I would be at this game. I would pay the $60, $100. I'd pay $100, get a good seat, side court, and be at this game. Miami doesn't have a women's basketball team, so I, I can't be at that game. But if Miami had a team, I would be at the game. Why not? For a hundred bucks? Hell yeah. But this just shows you that people still don't really care. I wish these women all the luck in the world. I, I, you know, I hope that they have a great, I hope it's a great game tonight. And I will say that I'll probably turn it on. I'm going to admit it ahead of time. I will probably turn it on in the second half. But overall, if we haven't seen by now what the reality is, we're never going to see it. And I know it sounds like we're picking on the WNBA and so forth. But the reason that some of us are in this direction, some of this podcast that you've seen are going this direction, including mine, including ours, is we're listening to the other side tell us that we're wrong. And I'm going to tell you right now, nothing will make me fight harder than when you try to tell me that I'm wrong. And even though you know I'm right. So I'm going to come back at you and I'm going to show you why I use data. I use information. I use facts. By the way, we're still looking for a a, a slogan. And I like the one facts over feelings. Rudy's rant where facts, it's facts over feelings. No one cares about your feelings. I care about bringing you the, the actual truth of what's going on. So when people try to put a wool, you know, cloak over your eyes and say it's <laughs> it's sunny outside, but it's raining. No, I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. I will show you what the truth is, and the truth of the matter remains. It remains what it's been remaining for quite some time that we have been saying all season long. When Caitlin Clark left this playoff run, we knew the ratings would drop off the shelf, and they have. I'm telling you right now, the WNBA is praying for a New York Liberty, Connecticut Sun final. Because New York Liberty versus Minnesota Lynx will do nothing ratings wise. Liberty Sun will pull will will probably pull better ratings. We shall see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this inexpensive get in price. It's not 10 bucks, but it's still nothing crazy and they still have available seats in the building standard not resale and also please do get your slogans in drop them in the comments appreciate you love you pound that like button subscribe ring that bell come on now